Welcome to a special off-season edition of Red V TV. Um, we're here down at the Tokyo Wicket Stadium um, with the club tonight. I've had a 2018 members events for the new se for the new season ticket holders, um, where they've invited 200 fans down, and they all had a decent evening. Had some entertainment from Zeb Taya, Ben Barber, Faye from the the ladies team, from Fatou Heath, yeah. Fatou Heath uh, Justin Holbrook entertaining the crowd, James Bentley, James up. Bentley, who's a lot bigger than I thought he was <laughs> going to be. Um, and we have launched the 2018 home kit. What do you think of it? Uh, I like it actually. Nice and retro, late 80s, early 90s feel to it. But yeah, it's uh, it's not one of them like a, a really mad design with too much going on on it. I quite like it. I think when you when you look at what's been on the forums and what fans have wanted in a kit over the years, they've wanted a deep V, one that comes over the shoulders. You can't knock it. I've, I know we've put it out on social media tonight as alongside the club with the hashtag Wear It Proud, which. You, if you have a look at that hashtag, you'll see all the photos. Um, I think pretty much universally acceptance. It's, it's, a, it's pretty much a well-received kit and new club sponsor on board, Cash Converters, another nationally recognised brand. And, multinational, yeah, yeah. Yeah, multinational, which has been in, uh, one of the owners in Australia or one of the people involved with Cash Converters in Australia is actually from Fatouif, so that's how, how far the... The brand stretches. The, the brand really, stretches, yeah. yeah so. Um, great to see that they've agreed to put £6,000 into the community clubs as well. Obviously, that was going to help, help some of the clubs get new kits, um, coaches, help, coaches trained. So, it can only have a positive impact Absolutely. on the future of the club. And at the end of the day, in the current corporate climate, um, the club have gone out and they've gone and got two nationally recognised brands. Obviously, Cash Converters on the home kit and Krabby's retaining the sponsorship on the away kit. Absolutely. Um, so you can't, I can't really knock that. If you, do you want to have a quick look at the away kit? Yeah, we can do. If it works, we should be able to bring it up. There we go. Your first comment was, what are we going to wear at Magic Weekend? Yeah. Um, it I'm assuming be, Witness are going to go for the if, Newcastle kit yeah, again. Yeah, Witness so. go for the Bobby Robson Foundation again, then maybe we'll have a colourful kit. I that. like I like that though. That, to me, that's a kit that I'd wear on a weekend going out, like, Round town, not round town on a night, but like it was like a leisure, yeah, more of a yeah. leisurely type jersey. It's it's smart, it's quite crisp with, with the gold and the white stripes on it. Yeah, there's been a couple of people commenting that it's similar to a witness or a whole kit, but where can you go with it? If you have a blue kit, is it Wakefield? If you have a yellow kit, are you looking at Warrington? You find it, I've found over the years that the teams tend to have copied what we've done with kits. Yeah, but no, I like it. I think it's quite smart. Again, it's not too mad. It's not. The, the splashes of colour that we've seen on like Huddersfield shirts, which have been absolutely horrible over the over it's, the years. It's pretty traditional looking, yeah. and obviously on the back of the jersey, A Star Recruitment and Hattons retain the sponsorships and my protein on the arm front again. And we're told that they're both on sale on Saturday morning, which uh, twelve o'clock. Twelve o'clock. So just been told um, kits out for Christmas for the kids. How many times over the years did the Saints get criticised for not having the kits out early yeah. enough? So O'Neills have done us a fine job getting the kits out in good time so yeah. anybody who wants to get them for the kids for Christmas they'll be on when you wish list um, squad numbers next up I think isn't it yeah. um, big news Ben Barber number 23 um, the story we had tonight was he was given the opportunity we, we, he pretty much Justin Holbrook confirmed that he is going to be playing fullback for us next year um, but he's going to be number 23 because he didn't want to disturb Johnny Lomax so obviously the respect he's got for Johnny and and what he's done for the club over the years, he felt Johnny deserved to retain the number one jersey, which is probably signs of what a good bloke Ben Barber actually is. Yeah, there's not been too many changes in the 1-13. to 13. There's only Zeb Tyre who's come into number 11, which is understandable. Um, it's a little bit of a surprise because I think you tend to go with your 1-13 to 13, or your, your ideal 1-13 to 13 wearing them shirts. But it doesn't push anybody's nose out of place if you if you're leaving people because obviously with all the rumours going on, over, I'm not paying for it. Over. You've already kicked it once. That's all right. um, yeah, with Farge like at number six, I mean there's rumours going round that the NRL are looking at him. Whether they're true or not is, is another thing. You can look at him all you like. If you but, if you want him, you either pay a massive transfer fee yeah. or we just say no, you're not going. But that's it. With the likes of people might have thought Richardson would get a sniff of either the six or seven shirts. If not, he's in. The, I think he's in the teens. The Regan Grace, and it was said um, during Justin Holbrook's thing that just having half a season playing there doesn't automatically earn you a number five or a number seven shirt. Yeah, yeah don't lean on it and push Not the either. telly over. Um, they won't be invited yeah, back. Exactly, they won't be invited back. But yeah, you've got to you've got to do more than just play well for half a season to earn 
an actual what you'll call a starting number jersey. I think that's fair enough. As I say, it doesn't push anybody's nose out of joint. I think for what Justin said, was it uh, Costello's being promoted from the, the academy into the first team yep. squad, obviously because his versatility is going to off. Versatility, easy for you to say. Yeah. Um, for the versatility, there you go, that he's going to offer the squad this year. Um, it sounds pretty much like Justin's, from what he saw at the back end of the year, now close we got to the final, like, he's pretty much happy with the squad that we've got. I know some of us felt we might have been a little bit light and been looking to bring another prop in. You don't know, obviously, with the recruitment of Ben Barber, how close to the salary cap. I know Calvin Wellington's gone out today, so there's, there might be a little bit of wiggle room. Let's be honest, we, we got to, a chance to sign Ben Barber and were able to do so. So you might want to leave yourself a little bit of room on the cap just in case something becomes available during the season, in case you suffer an injury or well, with the legs. With the squad numbers, you notice that number one to 30 are all taken. Yeah. So they've not but left. equally last year Ben Barber came in at number 37. Well, so. exactly, but you'd think that if something was in the pipeline, would they have left almost like a better number jersey? Potentially. I, in I the first I, 25. I don't think squad numbers are matter too much. We've well, had yeah. numbers 36 and 37. You look at when Adam Quinlan was over, I mean, they look like lottery numbers some yeah. days when we were playing, but it, I don't think it matters. If you, too if much. you look at us last season, how close? I think if you'd said to us probably July, June, July time, people were wondering whether we were going to make the eight early June. Look how close we got to the grand final. We were 30 seconds away, daft penalty. 30 seconds away, daft penalty. Away. I think Justin Oldbrook got his spot on tonight. We need to start the season well. Yeah. Um, the aim is, it's not how you start the season, how you finish, but you've got to play well enough to get yourself a home semi-final and have that bit of support behind it. It's, let's be honest, if we'd have played Cass here, we might have rocked up at Old Trafford. Well, that's it, and that's the way we start the season as every, well. And, and every point counts. Yeah. So, well, we start the season with Cass, don't we? So it's, a, it's almost chance a chance a to, to get yeah. a bit of revenge. Yeah, it's not gonna. It won't count for much in the grand scheme of things with regards to revenge because we didn't get to the grand final. But if we can kind of put some colours, yeah, yeah, put some colours to doesn't? the mast and, and see how it goes because we have got a bit of a tough start. We visit Catalan the week after, and then, Hulls, and then Huddersfield Field, the week after that. Then so. we've got Salford at home, and then I think it's Warrington away after that, possibly. Where we're in Berlin. We're in Berlin. That'll be Red V. Red V at the Brandenburg Gates. Yeah. Gruesome <laughs> Targ. Yeah. Uh, Arben, it'll be an evening. Yeah. So. <laughs> Culture dear. Yeah. Um, but it gives you a chance. You've got five or six games straight away that if you put a marker down and you get yourself off to that good start, you don't find yourself behind the eight ball like you did last year. And to be honest, when you listen to Holbrook speak, it gives you that air of confidence that he yeah. knows what he's doing. We got gradually better over the course of the season. Let's be honest, if you said to me in June, you're going to be within 30 seconds of beating Cass at Cass, you'd have laughed. Yeah. So there's plenty to be optimistic about. That's it. I think one of the, the things people say it's a tough start, but you don't know what's going to happen in rugby league. You look at Easter weekend, just Kieran Cunningham had been sacked. We had Lalisi Long and Trainer in charge. Fans gave us no chance of winning either against Wigan or against Castleford here on Easter Monday. And we went and turned Cass over. And it was a decent performance with an interim coaching lot. So you don't know what's going to happen in rugby. Then five games, we might be five from five either way. Yeah. We shouldn't be. No offence to the likes of Salford. We should be turning them over at all. But we could be five unbeaten top of the league. Easter, home, good Friday, yeah. home to Wigan. And then a trip to witness on Easter Monday, I think it is. So, yep. chance for pick-up points. You probably couldn't ask for an easy, sounds awful, an easier fix on Easter Monday. I know we've come a cropper over the years. My, my issue with we had a, was, was, it, was it cast that we had last Easter Monday? It was a yeah, hard one. So, and we won it. Yeah, yes, just said but that it was a tough, a tough weekend, wasn't it? So The, the only issue is witness with the eye pitch. Yeah. And it's about time that they did something about that eye pitch. Yeah. The eye pitch needs replacing. Up. Well, it, it, but it'll never to, happen. But they need to keep up because if you've got a grass surface, then they have the deso grass. They have, they kind of interweave it with four G or whatever. But they don't do that at witness. It looks like a patchwork quilt. Another thing for next season: TV games going to be kicking off at quarter to eight. Yeah. Um, I think all the staff want to go, and we better hurry up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> TV fixtures kicking off at quarter to eight. Don't get caught out next season. You can guarantee first couple of games there's people going to be rolling in 15 minutes late oh. it makes it a little bit harder for as away fans going over the Pennines to get there on time obviously people have got to finish work early the traffic hopefully by this time next season the managed motorway will be open yeah no doubt we'll start somewhere else a little bit further along the road so it's going to be a little bit harder for fans to get there um, but 
I can see the reasoning behind it. TV games going on past 10 o'clock. It's a struggle for the media to get the reports in the paper. So you can see the reasoning behind it. So a little bit of a change next season. There's but a way of changing that though. Sort out the video ref. Yeah. Stop the video ref spending four minutes. We'll have to make a 30 minute video on that. Yeah. Stop the video ref spending four or five minutes making a decision though. And all of a sudden you've got your eight o'clock games finishing well beforehand. Right, I think that's pretty much rounded us off for and if nothing I've watched it the last couple of weeks. Anybody watching the World Cup? I watched the weekend. I've, I've not watched any of it yet. You're not missing much in the minute. No. We will see. The only good thing is Alex Walmsley didn't get injured and didn't get tapped up in the first game. I know he's going to play at the weekend, so hopefully he'll go well, but not too well because we don't want any of these NRL clubs sniffing around him too much. Um, right, let us know what you think of the kits. Uh, they're on sale Saturday morning, 12 o'clock, is it you're told? I've just been, I've just been told by someone. To I thought it was 10, but check with the club on that one. Um, if you're a member, you're going to get 10% off the home kit, so and uh, an away kit um, in November and December. Um, if you're not a member already and you wanted to be here tonight, there was 200 here tonight. It was first come, first serve when they put the advert out. So keep an eye out because apparently the club are going to do plenty more of these free events over the Good course of next season. Good idea. Get the fans in, get them get engaged with the club. It's a, but then they don't have to do it. And it's, it's good. It gives a bit of a community spirit, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, it makes you feel like you're involved. Yeah, it, it gives you value for your membership. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, so if you want to be here, you've missed the early bear deadline, but I think I'm not sure whether there's still any sort of discounts on the no, tickets. No, yeah. Um, so, plenty of time. Not be funny. Ben Barber in the red V. With a red number 23 on his back. Bet you never thought you'd be seeing that. Um, right, so we may do a couple more videos during the off season. Depends if we, we get the studio sorted or not. Mm, that's worrying. Right, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you very shortly on Red V TV.